Here's Sally. When she eats carbohydrates like bread or fruit, the sugars and starches are broken down in her body into simple sugars like glucose, fructose, and galactose. Glucose is the main sugar found in the bloodstream. And after a meal, a rise in blood glucose signals her pancreas to release the hormone insulin. Insulin acts like a key that opens the door for glucose to enter cells in different parts of the body, like muscles and the brain. Glucose is slowly used up for energy as Sally goes about her daily activities, like cleaning and walking, and needs to be topped up from the food she eats at her next meal. How we use glucose in the body can vary, especially for someone like Sally's friend Joe, who has type 2 diabetes. Some parts of his body, like his muscles, are not very good at responding to insulin and unlocking the cells to let glucose in. Over time, too much glucose stays in his blood and not enough goes into these important parts of his body. Meanwhile, Joe's pancreas goes into overdrive to produce more insulin to try to unlock more doors. Thankfully, Joe's blood glucose levels can be managed carefully through smart food choices and controlling portion sizes. Eating a balanced diet at regular times throughout the day is essential for this to happen. Some of Joe's carbohydrate choices naturally contain sugars from fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. These foods also provide key nutrients such as fiber, protein, and a variety of vitamins and minerals. Joe can enjoy small amounts of food sweetened with added sugars such as whole grain cereals and yogurts and allow himself an occasional treat. A well-balanced diet and regular physical activity are important for Joe's health and well-being. Being aware of the amounts, types, and timing of carbohydrates is a key part of managing blood glucose levels in type 2 diabetes. This video has been reviewed and approved by a panel of registered dietitians and diabetes educators. Visit sugar.ca for more information.